<laughs> Are you guys ready? The following contest is a six-man ladder match. And it is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Aberdeen, Washington. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Daniel Bryan. The Intercontinental title about to be laid on the line. What would being the champ do for tonight's winner? The IC title is steeped in WWE history. Quite simply, this championship can make your career. Some say he's the underdog tonight, but in his mind, winning the title is a mere formality. as well with his fist as he does at the announce table. And from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, Ray Barrett! A stage truly befitting of a king. Doesn't have the best WrestleMania track record. Hasn't won a match, including losing the Intercontinental Championship twice. Yeah, but he's at the showcase of Immortals for revenge, Michael. And that's bad news for the opposition tonight. Don't do that anymore, Saxton. Why not? Things are about to get good. And from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cody! As the title gets into position here, let me remind everybody that the only way to win this match is to climb the ladder and grab the gold. That's right. No pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts, no disqualifications. The winner will be the first superstar who can successfully ascend the ladder and take possession of the title. But I assure you, it's not quite as easy as it sounds. His skills, his talent, that's what helped him to earn this opportunity. And that's what will win him the title tonight. Yeah, now we're talking. And from Rochester, New York, weighing in at 275 pounds, Luke Harper! 
The majority of the people who've cashed in a contract over the years have become champion. And you can talk to every single one of them. They'll explain to you what it has meant to their lives, to their families' lives, to their career. He's been undergoing a lot of training for tonight, not taking this title opportunity lightly. Here we go, guys. And from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, the Lunatic Dean and Rose! I've been looking forward to this all night long, but I know the men in this match have been waiting even longer. Intercontinental title to be defended. This is going to be a match for the ages. Usually I don't agree with you about anything, Saxton, but tonight you are right. We are about to see something good. And from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Nick Nemeth. Here we go, guys. The title is hanging from the ceiling, and we're ready to get this thing underway. And I assure you that if this ladder match is anything like the one we last saw, it will not be for the weak of heart, Michael. The champ certainly has his hands full here tonight, but he looks more than ready. The Intercontinental Championship held by over a dozen WWE Hall of Famers. The likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. Well, that title symbolizes the workhorse of WWE. But certainly has a history of being the largest stepping stone any individual can climb. No one to put superstars on the map. A fact that these men know very well. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Drop kick. The 
sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. It's Mr. Money in the Bank. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. The Superstar! Matches of this caliber with this level of talent showing their skills, this is why I do what I do. He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. The Viper is ready. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy! A chill is in the air. The cold, calculated nature of Randy Orton is about to be on display. The Viper is a superstar who does not play well with others. Evil intentions in mind tonight, I can guarantee you that. Yeah, Orton always knows when to strike and when to strike first.
Every generation, someone comes along who's simply so much better than everyone else. They just make it look easy. Randy Orton is that someone. He was born into greatness. The man they call the Apex Predator is as cunning and ruthless as they come. Randy Orton has all the skills, athletic ability, and killer instinct he needs to turn any opponent into his helpless prey. Orton loves being at the top of the food chain. When it comes to asserting his dominance, he strikes hard and fast. When you tangle with the Viper, you're messing with one of the all-time greats. I'm sure Orton is dead set on victory here in this one, ready to be as venomous as he must be to get the win. But he'll be facing someone who has been looking for a challenging fight for quite some time now. Hopefully, he'll get it tonight. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Ouch! Oh, my right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. On the outside. Back suplex onto the barricade. And he goes into the ring. Orton's starting to get the crowd involved. from Orton. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Saw that one coming. Randy Orton. Exploder suplex from Orton. Big forearm. Power slam. Randy Orton, as sadistic as they come, how do you prepare for a competitor like that, Corey? Honestly, Cole, you need to be just as sadistic as Orton. The Viper exists on a different frequency altogether. And if you really plan to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, you also may need to go to that place. Oh, what impact! Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoyed every minute of it. Oh, side coming. Tossed by the neck. Oh, man, that was a nasty shot. Oh, look at that torch of their opponents. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. for that effort. Oh, we know what comes next. Hung up on the rope. Vintage Orton. Is it just me, or is Orton still getting better at that? It's not, and he is. And Orton is clearly looking for a fight here. Sizing up their opponent, and, and a big-time knee drop. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Uh oh! Oh, God! That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Setting up neck breaker position. Oh, forearm to the back. And this match will head back to the ring. Letting his opponent know respect is earned, and he's still a dollar short. Oh, my goodness. Ah, what a smash. 
That is just insulting. to keep him down. Oh, throw to the back. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. <laughs> Able to get the advantage here. The Viper had his eyes on the prize, and he struck when the time was right. Of course things ended his way. And here comes one of our favorites. The following is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring 
from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 250 pounds, the icon, Steve! The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. The King of Kings stands before this man. Can this man stand up to one of the all-time greats? I don't know if he's got what it takes. The King of Kings has arrived. A man at the top of this company, at the top of this industry. Heck, there is no mountain Triple H can't climb. One of the best to ever compete. And his opponent from British Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds. Throughout his career, he has transformed himself into a household name. That's after results of a career spanning decades of main events and championship reigns. Triple H has inspired so many modern superstars. And he can still go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Triple H is a true force to be reckoned with inside the ring. His physicality might even be underrated at this point. And we all know about the mental edge held by the cerebral assassin. Well, in every way possible, Triple H is built to compete at the highest level. So here we go, Extreme Rules, basically anything goes. You can win by pinball or submission. Every hold, every surface, every object in the arena is all fair game for these combatants. Oh. Boom, what a forearm. He reverses it. Arm ringer, ooh, eats a big right. Byron, is it possible to avert disaster in a matchup like this? Competing in WWE is grueling enough, but when it's extreme rules and everything is legal, you are in a different level of combat. Things break down very quickly when you're only limited by your own destructive musings. Wicked clothesline! And Triple H is stepping up. Look at this, just crank of the head. That's got to hurt. Just cranking the head. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Great counter. Into the hammerlock. Oh, boy. Back suplex. 
Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, and this is the hostility Triple H wanted to bring. Boom! Oh, man. Adding more injury to injury with that hammer. Had Triple H well scouted. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. My God, enough! And this one might be headed ringside. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Taking a big risk here by bringing the table into the action. Big shot taken. That one's going to leave a well. Saw it coming. Ah, Triple H counters. Sit straight into the barricade. it back onto him. Holy meet the barricade. Oh, he slammed his face right into the barricade. Went back into the ring. Need. 
Reversal from the game. Oh, here you go. Triple H has this all sewn up. Looking for the victory. Two. Triple H did it. Huge win tonight. Here is your winner. The game. Triple H. And Triple H, very impressive, guys. Hard for the course when you're the game. Triple H remains the king of kings with that big win. This woman is the real deal. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Jersey City, New Jersey, AJ Lee! I'm all for tough competition, but this one likes to take things too far. Their matches can be downright gruesome sometimes, the way they go after their opponent. This industry isn't about being gentle, Saxton. You have to be a little mean sometimes to ensure the win. If anything, I think the intensity can be turned up in the ring. If this person spent as much time focused on their ring work as they do for standing up for what they believe in, they'd maybe be undefeated. Corey, I think sometimes a person's courage and character speaks louder than their record. Really? Show me the last time someone got a title match because of their courage and character. She loves the reaction she receives from the WWE Universe, and I think she's going to take that energy into the match, too. Look who it is. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. And this tag team match is sure to be filled with exciting action. These teams want the win bad tonight, and they'll fight hard to get it. Yeah, these superstars look like they're all business, not a weak link among them. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Right to the spine. Able to reverse. energy.
She bails in a hurry. Ooh, what a forearm club. Ooh, leg lariat. And a tag there. And she makes it to her partner. Tag. Punch to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. Uh-oh. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Looking for the sidewalk slam. Look at this. Clutching the wrist. Oh, oh my God. Torturing their opponent. Just mangling the opposition. Oh, ow. Oh, my. Inflicting pain at will. Oh, vicious headbutt. She turns it right around with a counter. How insulting is that? Well, that is a sign that definitely gets the point across. Power oh, with a sidewalk slam. Brutal stomp to the body and just getting started. Look at this brutality. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my God, this is hard to watch. <laughs> she drops a clubbing blow. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Oh, in the corner. Oh, knees right to the gut. What impact. My oh, goodness. Jesus. Oh, a knee. Can she score the pin? Referee breaks the count. Oh, yeah, she is really getting fired up. Got the tag. Got the tag. Oh, right to the body. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Driving a knee into the arm. A uh, neck breaker. Cover! Two count! Manages to escape before the three count. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Head scissors applied, and here come the elbows. Look how she's raining down those elbows. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Uh-oh. And slides right out of the precarious situation. All the way up. There it is, so Nui. Oh. And now she's got all her gears running. Yeah, she's really keeping her opponent contained. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. Oh, uh, Black Widow. Locked in tight. On a save. Just in the nick of time. Dogs down by the DDT. Put into the corner now. And it's a long way down from there. The superstar will to do whatever it takes. Bulldog all the way down face first. Now she's allowing the WWE Universe to simply soak it all in. On the mark with the drop kick and not done yet. Basement drop kick. And she can't put an end to any of the offense coming at her. Yeah, but she can't allow this surge to frustrate her. She's going for it. This could be. Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. Perfect chemistry between these women. I see many more wins in the future for this pairing.
ステーション。